Another serviceable item that Darley would recommend that you add to the list to check maybe um, biannually, uh, meaning twice a year or at least every year, just to ensure that you have good solid foam flow, is to check this Y strainer. This stainless steel Y strainer right here is installed to prevent any debris coming from your foam tank or from your overboard pickup hose to getting inside the foam pump itself. This strainer provides a line of defense against any debris from getting in and damaging your foam pump. So it's highly recommend that you pull this strainer out and uh, visually check the condition of that um, the screen. There's a wire mesh screen inside of there which I'll show you how to service now. Start by getting yourself a, um, a small container that you can put in underneath that stainless steel Y strainer to catch any of the foam that's going to be coming out. The first thing that you want to do is turn your overboard pickup, shut your foam tank off by turning this valve 90 degrees. This then sets your auxiliary pickup uh, into the, uh, the tank off position as you can kind of see here. Uh, with this tank in the off position, now we can take that strainer out and check the condition of the strainer without having to worry about all the foam dumping out of the foam tank. So again, you'll need to get yourself a three-quarter inch wrench. Go ahead and put it on that strainer. Give it a good swift turn. And then you can start to rotate that, that um, strainer material or the strainer uh, bushing out of position. Give it a few turns and then it should be finger tight Then you should be able to rotate that by hand, catching any of the foam that does come out in the process. You can go ahead and let that strainer and that assembly fall right into the, uh, into the cup. And we'll let that drip here for just a second. And again, with this foam tank valve shut off or turned 90 degrees, uh, it, it eliminates the entire foam tank from dumping into your, into your pump compartment. All right, so now we can pull that out of here and show you the condition of that strainer that it's in right now. And you can see that strainer is virtually spotless. But what this strainer will catch inside is you'll, you'll catch any of the plastic debris, anything that falls inside your foam tank, any um, you know bugs or leaves or any of that kind of stuff that would fall inside your foam tank would get caught up inside this strainer. So you do want to check this regularly, especially if you start to notice any, um, any foam flow challenges from the system at all. If, if you're ever not making very good foam, check and make sure the condition of this strainer is nice and clean. Now if there was any major amounts of debris in this filter, all you simply have to do is just using plain water, just flush out the inside of that stainless steel screen, rinse it out good, rinse out the plug itself, making sure there's no debris caught laying in the bottom of that as well. Just give it a good bath, and then you can go ahead and reinstall that into, your, into the, um, the foam tank Y strainer. All right, now it's time to put our Y strainer back into position. So again, your two main components here, you've got your stainless steel barrel strainer, it's all washed out. You've also got your plug on the end. You wanna pay particular attention to the condition of this white plastic or neoprene type seat that goes around here. Uh, as long as you never over tighten this plug, you shouldn't ever have a problem with it. But if you do start to notice that this uh, neoprene seat is damaged, you will wanna replace it. So you just simply install the screen into that plug area and it doesn't have, you know, put it in either way, it doesn't matter. You'll then want to insert it into the Y strainer and then just snug it up. So just reach in here, paying particular attention to make sure that you get the thread started correctly. You don't want to cross thread this stainless steel. being particularly persnickety right now. Let's see if I can get up here at a better level. There we 
There we are. Rotate it until it's just snug by fingers. And then we'll get our, our three quarter inch wrench. And then just snug it up. That's about all there is to that. And again, I would check that at least twice a year, if not twice a year, every, uh, every year for sure. And once you've cleaned the Y strainer and put it back in, you definitely want to make sure that you return your valve back to the from tank position. This allows foam from the foam tank to flow through this valve, through this fitting, through the strainer, and into the foam pump itself. The other normal position here is to make sure that your calibrate inject valve is set to the inject position. That inject position is required if you're going to try to inject any foam into the water pump. So again, there's also a three-way valve here. You need to be set to the inject position so that the foam coming out of the foam pump goes into the water pump, into those foam capable discharges. If you turn it to the calibrate flush position, this is only used as shown in another video when you're trying to calibrate your foam system for the first time or to double check its accuracy or if you're trying to divert foam from the system through your calibrate, you have a small um, half inch, about four foot length of hose for calibration and for flushing out your system. Uh, again, there's another video called Flushing Out Your Foam Pro, which I recommend doing every year just to keep the foam pump itself cleaned out. But the normal position for injecting foam into the manifold to make compressed air foam is the inject position.